So something I do, and, and the other thing is that when you're running out of breath, two years ago, oh my goodness, I'm running out of breath. <laughs> and you lose the support of the voice. You lose the support, the, 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 the standing position. You just go like that. And, and it's the worst thing you can do. And, and, and so I think, have the courage. You know, when, what happens when we breathe normally? It's that sort of the average amount of air in the lungs. And we sort of breathe like that. We sort of take a bit in and a little bit and then we exhale. We sort of do that. When we sing, we go, <clears throat> and we get down to about normal. We get just below sort of the medium and we go, oh, it's not so bad. It's not too bad for you. In fact, we've got tons there. Yeah, so you, you without got... thinking too much about it, just allow yourself to, by holding your position, to <coughs> say, and just fight your brain. Yeah. There's plenty of the air left. As I say, it's not something that comes overnight. But just when you're singing, when you think you're running out of breath, just relax the body and allow the diaphragm to push a little bit more air. And you'll find you get those extra miles per gallon out of your tank of petrol at the, at the sort of low end as well as at the top end. So um, I think we maybe should start at the beginning. And we'd like to hear the best. The breath I, we, we don't like to load too many points in, so I, I do apologise, but the only reason I'm saying something is, um, and I, I apologise for my phone going off as well, we're, we're on tour so much, sometimes things happen at home and our families have to call, so I do apologise for moving um, Anyhow, David's important points, I completely agree, but the one overriding thing that I felt was that it's too slow. Um, it, feels, it, it feels to me, um, I know he's put this marking, but the, the marking that he's put is, I think, for a larger body of students with many singers through the past, and, and you have to look at the forces that you've got. And it was such a safe performance. Everything was within very defined, controlled parameters because you were so afraid of running out of breath. And it felt drawn apart to me. And I don't think you should. I think for a group like this, a chamber performance is what they do. I think if you do it faster, get that out of breath too. Feel as though you're breathing in the it's going to help the breathing, it's going to help the dynamics, it's going to help those vocal contrasts. It also helps your sense of line, because it felt quite choppy to me. Yeah. Think of it in those sort of two of the bar and in the two of them. Take it up a few notches, and you'll find you've got enough in your tank. Yeah. Yeah? I think, I think that's that one thing will help with the, the excellent points of these people I think I completely agree with. So I'm just sorry going to blur everything on, but yeah. I think the, I, there's no point in carrying on without changing the speed. So I'll make a bit Can you guys stand any closer together? Can you, can you just and also, you see, as David said, yeah, if, you, if you give them a minimum upbeat, you can get a minimum breath. Maybe, you know, we'll promote that one too far. But either way, let's hear that breath in time. The breath gives us tempo, it gives us a dynamic, it gives us a style. It allows us, uh, you know, just because we're human, we don't like that unnatural silence in there. But we want, we want to be easy to do. feel relaxed in the audience when we hear something going on. Yeah. That might be a bit too fast. <laughs> so you've got to find the speed that's right, but all I know is that the first time it was too slow. For sure. It's got to have that feeling of, you know, movement. Beautiful sound. Mm. I find some of the uh, mouth, some of your mouths are quite <laughs> and I want if you open your mouth, that almost actually makes it more difficult to see because you have to you're sort of have to force more air through the through the mouth to, to make the sound ring. The first word does sound like or O R and not O. 
Sounds like oh, and sort of that David point, but just drop that jaw. How would you say it? In, oh, I mean, it, in a way, I, I have no problem with, with it being different from the way we do it. Sure, sure, sure. But I mean, it's, 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 it's carried on with things like. Mysterium, um, is it? Yeah, mysterium. There's lots of mysterium. Mysterium. You don't have to flip or roll the other, it doesn't matter, but the vowel of stare was. It doesn't matter, as long as you do all the same thing, it doesn't matter. There are lots of different variations of that one syllable. Yeah? So just try, try it again. Could and really listen. Can we have another leg? Nice long one. And just think about it, don't panic back or something about it. Um, it's a nasty lead, basically. You know, you've got to be completely perfect to see it. like crazy and match those vowel sounds up. Can you say that again, actually, just that chord on the stair, please?
Stop on that step before. <coughs>
I'm not going to talk about the meaning, the, 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 you've got to move beautifully, but coming off at the end of some of your phrases in the interest of ensemble, the last consonants are getting much more attention than the rest of the words. So if, uh, for instance, I'm going to speak to you really well. Um, 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 yeah, it's like, um, that T is not hugely important. Um, and by giving it so much attention, you kind of undermine the phrasing you do towards the end. So the consonant should be very much in the context of the phrase that you, you're trying to finish. Um, so even though they're beautifully together, actually, I think if you that when you put the ends together as well, then suddenly you're going, oh, we've all arrived at the positive together, so we'll just hum a bit louder. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, don't do that, because you, you should all be kind of coming from the end together. Um, so I wonder if we could just go from bar 30, uh, is it upbeat into, is it upbeat into 38? Um, um, or is that the best example? Is that... Um, Huge gap. 
that. that yeah. Don't feel like you have to trip over it. Don't be scared, as we say, but don't be scared to slip. 
And, and moments when it's important for you to stretch it slightly, don't be scared to stretch it. Really yeah, you don't, 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 Rude really and itching to say something. <laughs> very, very good. No, no, no. I'm just, 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 just waiting my, my turn. I'm, I, I'd love to hear some more because this, this, I can sense that you're trying really hard to think of all the different things. You know, the, the turn of our, the breathier singing, and then giving a bit more quality for the, for the loud singing. The V there, there's brighter vowels, and and there's, there's, I can see that you're, you're trying so hard to, to you know, and it's, it's very difficult to do. Three or four things at once. It's, it's lovely as well, though, to see that some of the things that you're doing are actually being applied and applied consistently. I was just saying to David at the back of the room, one of the things that I'm taking, apart from the beautiful sound that I'm hearing, one of the things which has given me a tremendous amount of pleasure, thank you for brightening my day, um, is, is this uh, physicality with your breath, which is, uh, I, I believe, pretty pretty fundamental for your group, actually, because you're... you're I thought you were androids when you first started singing. <laughs> so, uh, I, and, it, and that's all part of the giving nature of, of, of singing and music making. I think it's really important. Chris? I'd like to hear, just a, say four or five pages in succession, because what, what you'll end up doing is, as you go through, you'll be like, oh, that's right. And, and you'll hear something going, oh, that's right, I need to do that. And, and you'll do it the next time you sing it. So rather than taking a page in isolation, can we do a few pages in a row? Uh, so that over time, by the time you finish the five, you know, maybe the fifth page, you're all on the same, on the same sort of page, if you like. Can we go from <coughs> five thirty-seven, please? And, and let's just do a few pages and, and, and there's there's lots of different sort of you know ends of phrases. And just just try things. And by page five I reckon you'll be you'll be hitting the right notes. Here we go. Thank you. 
good. Well done. Yeah. Cool. Some really nice things in there. Um, so just going back, just, just to cover a few things. <coughs> when you are, are, are trained for thinking about tuning, uh, nothing can be in tune if you're on if you're singing different vowels. Okay, so the vowel resonance has to be the same. And what that means is, if you're singing a slightly darker vowel, you'll sound a little bit flatter compared to someone with a brighter vowel. It might sound sharper. Okay, so you do need to to, to be aware of that. And it's particularly noticeable here, it's the alto tip, yeah? Mm. I'm hearing some, some darker vowels here, and so this isn't quite. Can you say the word beata virgo? Beata virgo. Cuius viscera. Cuius viscera. Meruerunt. 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 Okay, <laughs> uh, there's another really obvious one. Ah, just say it. Omanium mysterium. Omanium mysterium. 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 <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it's just, it's just, I mean, you know, it doesn't matter how you hear things, but it has to be brighter because yours is too dark at the moment. Okay? So I can um, yeah, please, please, just, please. just on the back of that, you know, you'll all have singing teachers that will say, tell you the proper way to sing. But unfortunately, when you're singing in, a, in an ensemble, sometimes you might be sacrificed with proper technique by these bright, smiley vowels for the good of the group. Okay? Because if you've got, you know, even just one proper singer in the group then, you refuse to change, it sticks out like a sore thumb. And it ruins everyone else's work. So you all need to um, really go for that. Because it's still very obvious that some people are going this starry in it. It's stare, eh, eh, eh. And apply that. And just, be, just when, you, when, you're, when you're doing your own solo singing, do it exactly the degree. But when you're with a group, you need to all sound exactly the same. You say, et admirabile. Sacramentum. Good, okay, really nice and bright. Um, T's in Italian are softer. Italians don't say t, and I know this is Latin, but it's based on the same thing, right? So there's, there's no t sound. It's a, it's a much it's a much more dense t. So it sort of follows on from John's point about not, not doing it, but actually, and it, you wouldn't say it in the language anyway, you wouldn't say it, you know, they don't don't say their teeth like that. Okay, good. Just a couple of things. I would go into four at the end. I know that it's this pretty field, but at the end it's too hard for ensembles to be feeding yeah. it too. Can you do the last page? Bar 65, B2. <coughs> if, you, if you want to come in on, on the next bar, that's fine. Okay? But definitely go into four on the bottom line. Okay? Do you know the last page off, off by heart yet? Or? Is that asking a bit much? Do you want to just try it? Just because it has to be, these, these block chords have to really just move, move at the same time. Okay? It's, it's very close. Okay. Have a go. And if it doesn't quite work out, don't worry about it. The, the, the top of the page is in two, the bottom is in four. Yeah, it's, it's up. It's, we 
singing is enough. So there's, there's, so singing is onset and release. That's what singing is. Okay. So the onset, there's different types of onset, and sometimes we want a global fifth, and sometimes we want a more breathy one. Can you just sort of just 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 come in really really gently up there? Okay. <coughs> Try that. And if it's not right, can you stop them? Stop them. If, if you're happy with it, go on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> to your taste. Trumpet he looks forward. Right. Yeah. 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 Y
Jump, 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 jump,